So many patients don't realize that the eye symptoms that they're experiencing are due to dry eyes. Here are three surprising signs that you may have dry eye. Hi, I'm Dr. Sayana Gori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and a glaucoma specialist, and you're watching the iFacts.com channel. If you find this video helpful, support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe button down below. So one sign that you may have dry eye is that your eyes water. I know this sounds counterintuitive, but hear me out. Excessive tearing can actually be a sign of dry eyes because when the eyes are dry, a signal is sent to the brain asking the brain to produce more tears. Therefore, your body reacts and produces more tears in an attempt to lubricate the eyes, and you perceive this as your eyes watering. When you start treating your dry eye with artificial tears, you may notice that the watering actually improves. Number two, another surprising symptom of dry eye is having light sensitivity. Some people with dry eyes may experience sensitivity to light, especially bright light and fluorescent lighting. This can cause discomfort. It can make it difficult to perform certain tasks like reading or working on the computer. Patients may come to the ophthalmologist looking for blue light blocking glasses to help, but if their eyes are dry, then the dry eye must be treated first. Number three. Finally, one of the most common symptoms of dry eye that is often not attributed to having dry eye is actually having blurry vision. So many people come in thinking that they need an update in their prescription when in fact the surface of their cornea is very, very dry. The tear film which coats the cornea is the primary refractive surface of the eye. And this means it needs to be healthy in order for you to have clear vision. Now it's important to remember that blurry vision, watering eyes, and light sensitivity can also be due to other eye conditions like eye inflammation, a corneal abrasion, or something else. The only way to know is to see your eye doctor and have it evaluated. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe below. See you next time.